Hello, welcome to the Fast Films Cooking Show. To all, welcome and welcome to all. mention you uh, pronounced that borderline flawlessly whereas when I last had to pronounce that one when I had the red variant I very much struggled. <laughs> we all know I am part <laughs> that pretty good what you part so so Josh what are you drinking <laughs> so I am drinking a lovely oyster bay red wine it's a Merlot, and uh, it's from New Zealand. It's very nice. As uh, our good friend Ewan Howells will uh, back up, as he is a nationalist for New Zealand teachers. From also Christmas. known as Tony. Also known as Tony. He's, is he just Tony? All just Tony. All yeah, just Tony. So yeah, this red wine is lovely and is not too strong, not too weak, not too sharp, not too crisp. It's the Goldilocks red wine. Because it's a blonde girl that stumbled into the woods. <laughs> As you can see, the oven is getting warm. Preheat the oven to 200 degrees for your burgers. So, Harvey's cooking his in the oven. I'm going to be going for the frying pan approach. So I'm going to fry them so that I can uh, maintain those juices in there and add in some of my uh, Condiment and side pieces with the burger so that they can combine their flavours and you really get a sensation and taste for them. I'm still on those sensations. <laughs> so, for my burger, I will be using white onion. Not two of them, just one. So, I'm gonna select one in a moment. I'll have some lovely mushrooms, big ones, flat ones, so that they can go either in your burger or outside of it. It's purely preference. Or, and then to go along with that, I've got some tomatoes. So I will thinly, thinly slice these so that you can place them within the burger. And then for a garnish on the side, I've got some lovely watercress and bay leaf to go along with that. We will both then be having chips anyway, so that will go nicely with the side of our burger. So, in my burger, I am having onion. Mushrooms, tomato, and salad. And uh, you're, you're thinking to yourself, you're, you're like, you're there at home pondering, just what buns are they using? <laughs> and yet, you, you know, you may be thinking Harvey's buns, because those are people. But we're actually using war, war bird. Ons, Warbird Ons, <laughs> White Knolls. Kids, remember, protection always important, especially when dealing with ovens or hot pans. 
So we are starting with the onion. A tip for getting that shell off is cut off the ends, but not too much, like I just did. That way then you can really access those uh, skins and peel them off properly. There we are, see how easy that was? Like stealing candy off a baby, <laughs> except it's peeling an onion and getting its skin off. My burger. Remember, it's always important to wash your hands. If you listen to Boris Johnson's government, <laughs> two minutes is the recommended amount. So this is my mushroom. I will literally just be frying this as is, but you want to give it a quick wash and dab it with some paper towel or kitchen towel or a other thing of your choice, just to get any mud off. Tomato. So I'm just gonna hold it on the side, cut down, cut down, cut down, cut down, cut down. Cut down. Oh. Gets more difficult the thinner it gets. Cut down. Remember, watch your fuck fingers. And I'm saying that's done enough because it's all of my burgers. So then you've got a nice amount of slices to go within them. So then also, here are my bay leaves, spinach, and lettuce. So I'll just be garnishing the side of my plate with that, just so it's something for the uh, judge to taste. Similar to my colleague Josh, I'll be having mushrooms, but this similar. I will be cutting mine, like so. I am also have a tomato. <laughs> and an onion. Here's one I cut earlier. <laughs> so I'm gonna add some butter. This is just to soften and oil the pan. Well, it's not gonna soften it, it? <laughs> but it will allow the burgers to cook in a nice substance of such. Josh has chosen butter, but I am using oil to cook my various condiments, vegetables. I'm going to start adding mine in there. One, two, four, three. Oh, it's a four. Didn't even need to touch that one. Oh, I've taken a bit of burger with me. There we go. Let's just reattach that back to the other. <laughs> I am going to do something slightly unusual, though. I'm going to add some honey onto the top of my burgers. This way it will give them a nice sweet taste. Then it will counteract the onion and pepper that I'll be adding shortly. But as everyone knows, pepper is strong. <laughs> Hardly your big bunda is in my way. <laughs> bunda! <laughs> Bonus <the> ingredient! <laughs> All went in that idea. Oh, that's gonna be a strong beast. <laughs> 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 I may have had too much. <laughs> 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 My burger is the definition of a heart attack. <laughs> Go to your local doctor and check your <laughs> cholesterol today. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot the chip. <laughs> oh no! The chips are going in a glass tray with some oil in and they're going to be crisp as anything. Absolutely beautiful. Bosh! The burgers are halfway there. <laughs> What's the other use? My burgers are done and being left to rest. This is the point that I will now be frying most of my fruit and veg. And some of you at home may be saying, Fruit, it hasn't got any fruit. Tomatoes are legally a fruit. So, suck on that, Jeff, after you told me. No, you're just saying fruit to cycle. No, I'm not. I'm saying the technical terms. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to now quickly just fry the inside of my buns. Just Heat them up a little bit and toast them slightly so that they're ready for the burgers to go in and my fruit and veg. Positives and negatives. My burger will contain some cheese. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, I'm now going to add my burgers into their buns. I'm going to add a mushroom into one of them. I need another fork. <laughs> this is a multi-fork task, so you want to prepare yourself for the necessary cutlery. Just gonna default that.
Now comes for everyone's favorite part, assembling the burger. The judges. the judges! We are the judges of this evening's cook off. I am tasting Harvey's meal and um, it's a vegetarian. I can see some mushrooms, I can see some salad, I can see some um, a spicy bean burger and some onions and I'm really excited just to tack in and really feel how it tastes. Oh yeah, what about you Joshua? I mean I mean boss. Well, boss you are bro. Boss you right. I am uh, I have Joshua's food and it's a little bit messy presentation, but I'm um, expecting great things. Whoa. <laughs> um, cut that, cut that, cut that. Cut that. <laughs> the presentation, sometimes a messier presentation, can now uh, lead to some really exquisite tastes, because you never know quite what you're going to get. It will either be really good or really bad, so I'm also equally excited to tuck in my... I'm so excited! If you're ready, I'm ready. Judging by appearance, cooked to perfection. I'm really getting all those spiders in it, all those tomato, I did not realize it, and there's like a, a lovely freshness that it brings to it. And the spice from the burger, it really ignites your palate and really lets you taste all the textures and all the flavors it has to offer. Mm, mm. Obviously, we are tasting different burgers, but I must also agree with. Henry, because mine, exquisite. It looks overdone from the outside, but what it is, is sealed. You got the nice flavors in the middle of the burger, just so lovely and sealed inside there. And when you pick up the veg and fruit and combine that together, you get a real nice taste. And some red wine we recommend, I was recommended the Oyster Bay. And I the, uh... Fifty Lero del Diablo. Well, um, so you can tell by the colour what the fuck it is. Yeah. And I would say a brilliant recommendation for a brilliant burger. I think what we've learned from uh, Bosch's burger here, cooked by Josh, is that it's what's inside this pan. <laughs> and I want you, as a viewer, to take that home and to really consider it expands to all aspects of life. I would agree. Yeah. I agree entirely. It's not what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside. And that's what really matters. It does matter in, in everything. In, in, indefinitely. Giving me that peak heart attack, four lines through, and I feel great. <laughs> well, not very PG friendly. I guess this is another episode of this yet again. Got child restrictions on it. So please remember to stay tuned. Comment at the end which burger you think you'd like to try and